Okay, first things first, you know how back on Windows, clicking the maximizing button maximizes an app? Sounds straightforward, but on Mac, clicking the seemingly equivalent green maximizing button throws your window into this weird full screen mode, detaching it from your desktop and hiding the menu bar and dock. Now, if you want nothing more than resizing an app on your actual desktop, don't bother dragging out each window corner. Instead, just hold down the option key whilst double clicking any one corner and there you go, you've maximized your app the Windows way. And there's a lot more where that came from. Here are 8 macOS equivalents of the most popular Windows features from quickly revealing your desktop to proper window snapping to the unexpected tricks that make your new Mac feel just like home in no time. Moving right on to Control X, Windows Holy Grail. Cut with Control X, paste with Control V and we've moved the file. Now on Mac, the equivalent to this is Command X, Command V. But sadly, this only works for text. When you press Command X on a file, nothing happens. So most people opt for copying a file, pasting it elsewhere and then deleting the original. Skip that step because there's a quicker way. Well, two actually. I usually go for the second one, but to give you some context, macOS is a very drag and drop focused software. So you can always drag a file onto a folder, keep holding to go along the folder path, and then drop it to move it. But to get a real Command X alternative, simply copy a file with Command C, and then instead of pasting it with Command V, paste it with option command and v and the file is instantly moved but let's circle back to the drag and drop method this gets even easier when you enable the finder path bar so you always know exactly where you are in the folder hierarchy can navigate back to previous folders and most importantly drag and drop files into those folders just like on windows where the path bar is activated by default on mac you have to go to view in the menu bar and then click show path bar. Moving on whilst on windows, screenshots are saved to the clipboard so you can directly paste them. macOS handles things differently. It saves them to your desktop so you have to drag and drop them from there. Good news is you can have the best of both worlds. When you press command, shift and 4 to select an area to capture before letting go hold down the control key, which then copies the screenshot directly to your clipboard. Or if you prefer, you can always do so after capturing your screen by right clicking the small preview window and then choosing save to clipboard. But I don't do any of that, because when I need a screenshot right after taking it, and don't want to save it to my Mac, I simply grab the preview and drop it into my document. Oh, and in case you were wondering, you can always change the default screenshot saving location. Hit Command, Shift and 5 to get up the screenshot toolbar, click Options and if you want to go all in with the Windows way, you can set Clipboard as your new default. If you do end up dropping screenshots and other files onto your desktop, you'll most likely want a quick way to access them. Whilst on Windows, we can use Windows D to reveal the desktop. On Mac, we can press Command and the F3 key and all apps fly out of sight. You could then do things like grab an image from the desktop, press Command F3 again and drop it into one of your apps. Now, things get even smoother when you have a Mac with a trackpad because then you can spread your thumb and three fingers apart to show and pinch them again to hide your desktop. Okay, it's safe to say that this is the most satisfying Windows feature. Good old Windows snapping. On Mac, we don't really get that. Well, kind of. There actually is a trimmed down window snapping feature. You probably already know that by clicking and holding the full screen button, you can tile windows in full screen and multitask with them. But what most people don't know is that if you click and hold the screen button and then hold down the option key, you can snap the window to the left or right side of your desktop without going full screen. But I get it. This still isn't proper window snapping like on Windows, so for the full experience, you need to download an app like Magnet or Rectangle, which both were great. With those apps, you can actually drag and drop windows to the edges and corners of your display 
and neatly snap them into place. But good window management goes way beyond that. On Windows, we've got the taskbar quick look to preview active windows of an app. You can't do that on the Mac stock, but you can click and hold any open app and then while still holding, move your cursor up to this list to quickly select one of the active windows. Now, to get a complete overview of every window you have open, there's Mission Control. On a Mac keyboard, you can get there using the F3 key. And with a trackpad, you can simply swipe up with three fingers. And this gets even better when you let Mission Control group your windows together by apps. You can do so in system settings by going to desktop and dock, and then scrolling down to Mission Control. Here, enable Group Windows by Application. But let's be honest, none of this comes close to the Alt plus Tab shortcut on Windows. Well, at least I thought so, until I understood this. Alt plus Tab on Windows shows every single app's window. On Mac, however, apps and their respective windows are kind of separated. You can cycle through and switch between apps by using Command plus the Tab key. And when in an app that has multiple windows open, you can cycle through them too by using Command plus the Tile key. What's more, to get a better overview, you can always use the App Expose. Press Ctrl and F3 on a keyboard or on a trackpad, swipe down with three fingers. You now see all open windows of only your current app. And then you can press the Tab key to cycle through all other apps and their respective windows. But sure, as much as I love macOS, Windows does offer some fantastic features that the Mac natively lacks, like a built-in clipboard manager. But there's a free and lightweight app bringing exactly this feature to the Mac, letting you go back in time and recopy every single text passage, image or link you've had in your clipboard, right from your menu bar. If you want to know how to get that, you should watch this video next. Alright, I will see you there. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day.